Hi guys, this is Sushant Kocher and today we are going to talk about what nutrient dense foods are. So uh, I talked about what density is in my previous video and what calorie dense foods are. So nutrient dense foods are those which give you more of uh, more vitamin minerals uh, or antioxidants in lesser calories. So uh, we'll understand this with an example. Uh, so let's say we take 100 gram spinach so 100 gram spinach has around 24 calories uh, and on the other hand we take 100 grams oil or ghee which has 900 calories 100 grams of oil would have 900 calories mm, it is totally fat so uh, 100 grams of spinach having 24 calories will give us a lot of vitamins and minerals while on the other hand 100 grams of oil having 900 calories would give us very less vitamins and minerals so even on 900 calories oil is not giving me a lot of vitamins and minerals while even on just 24 calories uh, spinach is giving me a lot of vitamins and minerals so in very less calories it is giving me a lot of vitamins and minerals so it is a nutrient dense foods in lesser calories more nutrition while uh, oil or ghee is a calorie dense food uh, it takes less space but it has a lot of calories I talked about calorie dense foods in my previous video uh, so another example is uh, cloves uh, you take 100 grams cloves and they are about 187 calories so they are just 187 calories but if they will give you a lot of antioxidants so if you compare that to 100 grams oil having 900 calories would give you um, almost no or really very less uh, antioxidants uh, while on the other end 100 gram flows in just 87, 187 calories would give you a lot of antioxidants so they are nutrient dense as compared to oil or ghee so for antioxidants so that is obviously nutrient dense foods uh, now uh, nutrient dense foods are more likely to have lesser uh, weight from protein fat or carbohydrates why is that? Because if they have more protein, fat or carb carbohydrates, they would have more calories. Because fat has 9 calories, protein and carbohydrates have 4 calories. So we'll understand this with an example. So 100 grams of spinach, palak is spinach in Hindi. So 100 grams of spinach has around 2 grams of protein, around 2 grams of carbohydrate, around half gram of fat, uh, about 0.64 grams of fat. So, um, it would have around 24 calories, 100 grams of spinach. Now uh, you would ask me where is the rest of the 100 grams uh, go? So 2 plus 2 and about one, 5 grams of total uh, protein, fat and carbohydrates. Where is the rest of 95 grams? So uh, rest of the major weight would come from water content in it, moisture, uh, fiber content of spinach, uh, some ash content of spinach. It would have ash as well. So, Mm -hmm. So if you burn it, you might uh, have some leftover of ash. So uh, it would have some ash in it. So this is to understand that something that uh, needs to have lesser number of calories would have lesser protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Uh, um, so, so that thing can become uh, nutrient dense uh, in lesser calories, providing more vitamins, minerals, or antioxidants. Now. Um, what are the advantages of nutrient dense foods see they can be helpful when you need to fulfill the vitamin or mineral requirement when you're on a calorie budget let's say you're losing weight you're trying to do fat loss or you're trying to maintain weight for some reason on mm, low calories mm. so when you're on a caloric budget uh, you want to fulfill your body's vitamins and minerals requirement or antioxidants requirement uh, but you cannot eat foods that have a lot of calories so you want to give your body a lot of uh, vitamins minerals or antioxidants in l lesser amount of calories that is where nutrient dense foods can help you so uh, that is one uh, big utilization of nutrient dense foods now knowing that nutrient dense foods are really low on calories they would not uh, let you gain weight and they'll give you a lot of nutrition vitamins and minerals so you would abruptly start eating a lot of them so no that is not a good practice excess excess of everything is bad i've talked about this a lot in my previous videos but i'll give you an example why it can be harmful so uh, see let's say you have spinach uh, spinach gives you a lot of vitamins and minerals. Um, see, from perspective of science, 
Even science would say that there are many vitamins and minerals uh, who have an upper limit for a particular day. So if you uh, eat more than that upper, if you get uh, more than that uh, much amount of that particular vitamin or mineral for that particular day, uh, you might harm your health. Uh, so basically, you should keep things limited uh, even as per science. But uh, we would see it from the perspective of Ayurveda. So uh, Ayurveda says that spinach in, is light and it increases air content in our body. So uh, I talked about it uh, that Ayurveda has three, three dosh, vat, pit, kaf, vat is made of air and ether. So spinach increases air content in our body. So it increases the vat dosh. When you have um, an aggravated vat dosh, uh, you can have many diseases uh, like um, joint pains, uh, knee pain or uh, different types of acts in your body so when you eat a lot of spinach you are increasing that uh, uh, air content in your body you are uh, aggravating that wall dosh so you can uh, be calling for a lot of diseases so that is why you do not want to eat a lot of it you want to do things in moderation and the right way so that is an example to make you understand here that you do not need to be eating something because it has a, uh, you do not need to be eating a lot of something because it has a lot of nutrition do everything in moderation uh, I think this video can help a lot of people so you should be sharing it uh, with uh, a lot of people. Uh, if you like the video please like and comment. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.